All right, so welcome everyone. Well, this is going to be our last lesson, and with that, we're going to finish up with our course. So, first of all, I would like to take you with the important settings of the compostings, since I always have to say that this will, you know, generally depend up to you in what way you want to take that thing, because many of the time people prefer their own composting packages. So, I just want to show you with a very um, straightforward and the clear idea that I've got uh, here. Let me just going to play the timeline. And here you can see that obviously we're going to have some different colors uh, from the video which showed to you, which is basically the file render. Um, here you can see that I have got all the BG elements here. This is the whole BG is basically the CG, and uh, I have used some in, uh, some passes, some layers, uh, you know, lighting settings, and of course to 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 take care of the best I I can I can do to achieve the reality. So I would like to focus here only the uh, passes I have used for you know uh, bringing my CG elements inside the uh, this particular image that I've got again from the CG environment of course. So we're going to learn the important steps. First of all I'd like to take you towards the particles, the important particles which you know in this case I can see that because the visibility is quite going to be uh, you know less visible to me of course. So what I can do is that let me just switch off the new dust here and the new dust is basically the uh, the layer for the uh, for the fluids and again I like to uh, take you to the to the particle sections so yes of course here you can see that you know uh, I have basically got two things for the particles there are there is basically one particle layer but I have given some um, Gaussian blur for it to to again give a feel of a soft dust I thought that in in a reaction like this there will gonna be three elements well let me just take that thing uh, first of all let me just switch off the visible particles and here you can see guys if we're gonna play the timeline you can see for the initial start you can say let me just play the one sorry here you can see that I have got a soft dust this is really gonna be important for me what I have did is that very simple process from the layer of our particles I have just provided up with some intelligent CC toner color correction values to support the lighting and the environment conditions and then finally put some Gaussian blur over it so that I can get some this kind of motion which is really going to be important for me okay uh, I I thought once not to include that one but when I just experimented I think so that was really going to be um, something which is very good I should say so I, I should ask you guys that if you want to do uh, some more r realism, I should say, you should give a try to this one also. And now followed by the, the sag particles, I should say. Now let me just switch that off and play the timeline once again. So here you can see that. Now the really important stuff is that the color and the mixing of our particles with the with the background okay so for that again I have uh, you know given with some CC toner as well as a Gaussian blur a little bit of the Gaussian blur to to mix my particle with the background again followed by the fluid dust which is in this case the the sole of our course and you can see I have again given some nice settings of the CC toners to match with the uh, with the background. I just want to leave that thing up to you guys, you know, because it's up to your wish what kind of a dust you are looking for and in in what exactly way you want to go for it. So that will be purely your artistic decision. All right, and finally by adjusting all the things each and every layer and this really very you know straightforward thing. There is nothing going to be very complicated stuff inside the composting. Uh, by doing all of the stuffs, by setting all those parameters and all, I finally came with this as my output. And I guess it's uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, you know, that this very soft sunlight, or you can say faded light, I have added, in fact, inside the composting. I haven't gone with any Maya render layers for that because I know that uh, calculating the lighting for the fluids is really going to be very costly. 
but if I, if I can do that thing with the fluids, sorry, in the composting packages, and I can see that I'm getting pretty much good results, why should I need to go for the render inside the Maya? This suggestion was also, you know, made by one of my friend, Mark, who actually suggests me to go for that kind of a background and to introduce a different contrasting mood inside the background. So I guess I really would like to thank him for that also. So this is all you can say a course and it was very, very interesting. So see you. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself and stay precaution from the dust. We'll see you soon.